Good morning, everybody. Pastor Stitch, Narrow Path Christian Church, B.C., Bay City, Michigan. Welcome to the Biker Devotional. Yesterday, I talked to you about the fact that oftentimes people will, when they're struggling with their their negative attributes, they find a way to make it somebody else's fault. Uh, they uh, will put somebody in control of a key to the refrigerator so they can't get in there and eat uncontrollably, right? Or they'll um, give somebody the password to their device and they'll change the password so they can't get into it and look at porn. Or they'll, um, w whatever it is, they hand somebody else the, the keys to their car and tell them to take it someplace else so they won't drive while they're drinking, right? Uh, and we all we all know what I'm talking about. And as I was thinking about that process yesterday, and I told you yesterday that by doing that, what you're doing is setting yourself up for the ability to blame somebody else when you fail. Uh, and and that's not quite, it, it, it doesn't work that way, right? You know you made the choice, but because you found a way around the roadblock, um, now it's their fault. It's like driving your car down a road that's closed, the signs in front of the road said road closed and you drove around the sign and you drove off a bridge. You want to blame the county because it's their fault the bridge is out when you clearly drove by the blockade that was there. It's difficult, right? Well, today as I was reading, I, I remembered something else. Oftentimes in, in our process of getting well, we will end up getting locked up. We'll, we'll have things removed from us in a forceful way. And on occasion, that brings people to the place where they realize, I don't need that anymore, and things change. But often, when you get out of jail, and very often, jailhouse conversions are real. Um, but in a more general sense, when you gain that freedom back, you go right back to what you were doing. And, and the question is why? Well, when it's involuntary, you also never really make the decision to change. In today's reading in Proverbs 20, verse 25, it says, It's a trap for anyone to dedicate something rashly and later reconsider his vows. I often, often have people telling me they can't do this, they can't do that, or they just don't, they don't know how, or how could I possibly, or it's not possible, or, well, it's not as long as that's their mindset, right? And many times I have people come and say, I'm done, I'm not going to do it anymore. And I get that too. But they don't consider all of the cost. And so they get into it and they realize, if I'm going to do this, it means I have to give up X, Y, and Z. And I don't want to give up Z, so um, I need to rethink how this is going to look. Because um, to give up Z, I have to... I have to change everything, and I'm not ready to do that. And the reality is, if you want to change, you have to give up Z as well. And be willing to give it up forever. And it's critical. Now, I've talked to someone at one point who they got sobriety because they were told that um, they only had to give up drinking for 20 years. And so they did. And at the end of the 20-year mark, um, he celebrated his 20-year anniversary of not drinking at all uh, by going to the bar with his wife. They poured the drink, set it down in front of him. He was excited because he finally got to drink again. And it was in that moment that he realized that during that 20-year period, his dedication 
to what he was doing had changed from I only have to make it 20 years to this is life and I'm good with it. I can live this way the rest of my life. That worked for him. But honestly, it doesn't hardly ever work. The truth is, until you make the decision and are willing to live with the consequences of your decision, you can't move on. If you want to be high, if you want to look at porn, if you think that, you know, your anger isn't that bad, whatever it might be, then you make, may make a decision. I'll never drink again. I'll never get high again. But then you realize that if I go hang out with my friends who have been my friends for years and they're getting high, it's going to be, I, I just won't have the self-control. So I have to give up my friends. Well, I can't do that. And so all of a sudden, you try to come up with other plans. Well, I'll just, I'll just have a breathalyzer in my car so that I can't go anywhere if I, I drink. So that'll keep me from doing it. Or whatever you come up with that is the tool that's going to keep you sober. They will always fail and you'll blame other people. When you make a dedication you, that you're going to live a life a specific way. You have to do it with the understanding that you're got to be committed to it. Completely committed to it. It's a trap for anyone to dedicate something rashly. And later reconsider their vows. Think on that today. Are you really ready to change? Or are you always looking for your escape clause? Are you always looking for your place to blame? Are you always looking for, I want this for now, but, you know, I want to be able to be free to do it later. See, all of those are chains that keep you in bondage and keep you locked up. True freedom is not in that. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless.